in the early days of American independence, uh, the United States, like new countries in our own time, was kind of buffeted around by the superpowers battling against each other. The United States was a very small power. England and France were the superpowers. And throughout the period from the American Revolution on, they were at war with each other. They were at war in the 1790s. They were at war in the Napoleonic era. And both England and France at least wanted the United States not to help out the other side. And this got us into trouble because both of them tried to restrict American shipping to the other side. Now, the Jefferson and the American leaders said, no, we want freedom of the seas. We want a right to export our goods to anybody. We're not getting involved in this war. We're not going to war on the side of either England or France, but we want the right to trade with anybody. Well, England controlled the seas because they had the Navy, and they started interfering with American shipping and said, no, you can't trade with the continent of Europe where France is controlling things. And they started seizing American boats, and they started seizing American sailors to put them on their ships. Eventually, this leads to a confrontation between the United States and Britain and the outbreak of the War of 1812, fundamentally over the right of the United States to trade freely. But there was a subordinate thing where a lot of Americans also wanted to conquer Canada and British Canada. They thought, we go to war with Britain, we can take Canada, you know. And we invaded Canada during the War of 1812. And to our astonishment, the Canadians said, uh, no thanks. We don't want to be part of the United States, you know. We'd like to actually have our own country here. And the Canadians pushed us out. And this was a big uh, blow to this notion of total American expansionism.